<laughs> we tried to get him to dance, but I, he you wouldn't. Didn't? No, you didn't really want. He said he's a really your number one fan, but he wouldn't dance. I think oh you should have a talk God. about that. Wanted more hands on. No, I'm football. not much of a dancer though. That's the thing, you know. I, I love dancing, but and I used to dance two or three times a week, and then I got married, and my wife doesn't like it. So I think I need to go and do like the, the contemporary. Because I always get ballroom and stuff. So, yeah. I like it. I dance with my little girl with the hockey. That's awesome. I'm so cool. That's fun. Very nice. Yeah, so I go to the website here. So you can do this. And that's my team. Oh, no, this is my idea. I need to check it out. I've been covering since season two. Really? Why is it? I don't think I've ever met you. I've never come to any of I've actually been to Vegas. So, whatever. LA is so hard. I actually I tried to go to the tour, I think. Oh, really? But I don't think I got it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, tell me about, you, you mentioned some of your projects earlier, but, you know, what's the most exciting thing that you have going? Yeah, yeah, um, that was a little too I think the most exciting thing for me is that I don't know what's going to happen day to day. Um, my dad laughs at me. He, he says that his life is like Groundhog Day. He wakes up and goes to work. Um, but I wake up and I never know what audition is going to come in. I never know what's going to get booked that day or what. So he says that my life is like Christmas. I open up a new present every day. And, and I truly feel like that. And I get to go off and I get to teach. Uh, I teach on a convention and there's like a thousand kids a weekend. So I get to go and give back and share with all the new future. Um, but then I get to come back into the industry and work on acting and hosting and uh, yeah, it's just scary it's, though? I mean, it's, oh, it's terrifying. Yeah. Because maybe you won't get a call, right? Yeah, and you know, I've learned to not tell my parents about every audition because, you know, once you're in this, you audition for something and mentally to stay focused and stay on the up, you got to kind of push it aside and wait for a call and not, not get too invested too early on because it is hard when you when you see a job and you're, you feel like that's where you're supposed to go and that's your next step in your life and then you don't get that, it's hard. So, you know, it's, it's a tough, tough job, but... So what's the most exciting thing you've done since being on the show? Um, I actually, I get to give dance lessons to Tobey Maguire and uh, Tom Cruise I got to work with. Um, I did, I helped choreograph uh, his movement for the VMAs when he was Les Grossman. Um, so, you know, he was Les Grossman, he had the big booty and all the booty. So it was, yeah, so it's cool and, you know, my brother is um, actually in the, in the Air Force and, you know, um, uh, he got his wings the day that I uh, went to work with him and stuff. So I kind of told Tom, and as I was talking, he was excited, excited. And then when I told him that he got his wings and, and whatnot, he just like was like, oh, we got to sign something. i got to take a picture for him. And I'm like, oh, to me, all the people I look up to and, and be on a similar level and you know, communicate, it's just it's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So, maybe we'll wait till Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that one out. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, do you know if you're going to come back for as an all-star in the next season? I mean, have you heard anything? Or? Yeah, I don't think anyone's heard yet. It's a little early. Um, but I, I hope for it. Is that what you want? That it would be great. Any, any chance to be up on a stage and dance is, you know... Is, is best so um, but you know if it happens it doesn't you know the next thing is around the corner to be honest like you were good on your season but when you came back as an all-star like I don't know if it was the dances they gave you like it seemed like they took you to another level or maybe over those years like do you, what do you think contributed to your progression I mean because you were just this sex bomb like this <laughs> this beautiful like and I was like, wait, uh, going back, I'm like, where was that season three? <laughs> um, you know what, I, you know, I'm not trying to um, take away of anything, but I feel like on my season, um, you know, when you get a new dance and you don't know what you're getting, and then you get it, and it just sometimes doesn't feel right. I felt like season three, I consistently felt like that. I was like, this dance isn't, it's not right, or it's not for me, or it's not what I should be doing, and, uh, you know, it's just 
the, the next year, or uh, the All-Star year, I got to come in and, you know, yeah, and, and plus I work with all the choreographers, I, I assist them all, so they all know what I can do and, and whatnot, so it just felt like I was more in my genre, um, but you know, it's reality TV, and I think they, they want to push you in different levels, and they have a plan, and you know, season three, I kind of felt like maybe a little against me and stuff, um, in certain aspects of getting different styles and not getting, just like, love, yeah, totally, love the drop. Uh, but I wouldn't take anything back. I learned more about myself coming out of that experience, uh, feeling like I was a little under than I would have if I came out, like, on top, so. How about a backstage story that no one's ever heard? Um, so I was trying to get into the top 10 on my season, which we finally get to go on tour. We get to make money, which is great. You get paid. Um, and I went in, uh, I'm not going to say the choreographer, but I went in uh, to try to, you know, to, to learn choreography. And she was just so spent, like she had been doing so much and stuff. So um, we cancel rehearsal for the day, which has never happened in so you make history. And then the next day, it was still kind of a little awkward, so we learned the entire dance the day of the performance. No way. Yeah, and I was trying to get on top ten, and I was at the bottom, and it was between me and another girl, and I just remembered I sat with my hand like this, like I couldn't even hold my own head up, like it was hard. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Dance.